So are you guys motorcycle fans? Well, there are a total of six in this game so far, which you can own. And today I will guide you to each and every one. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video, leaving a like it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. So there are six more bikes in this game and if I'm honest, I would have liked to have seen more, but it is what it is. And although I wouldn't say any of these feel amazing to ride within this game, they still have their uses. Also they have that sound and that presence, which is definitely there for sure. So let's get into the list people. So in at number 6 we have the Arch Nazar. So this bike becomes available to you upon you reaching a street cred level of 40 and you have your presence known in Westbrook. When you reach this goal the bike will be offered to you by a fixer. You can then go to this part of the map you see on the screen now and purchase this bike for 138k eddies. Ok so next up we have Jackie's Arch Nazar. So this version of the same bike you will get for free no matter what you do. Because as you know within the prologue, unfortunately, spoilers lay ahead about Jackie and his future. Spoilers in 3, 2, 1, Jackie dies. Now when you are in that taxi and Dalamain asks you where you'd like to send Jackie's body, if you pick his family, Jackie's mum will contact you which will ultimately lead to you getting this bike and Jackie's pistols. If you opt to send Jackie to Victor, the Ripper Duck, his mum eventually leaves the bike keys outside of your apartment and it's just a case of going and getting a bike and it's as simple as that. Ok so next up we have the Arch Nazar Itsu Made which is an amazing bike and it's probably the best, well second best on this list. Now this bike is rewarded for doing a side mission called the Highway Man. This mission opens up when you complete the mission of the ride which is a part of the prologue. But I will state this mission seems a little bugged for a certain number of people including myself as the mission just isn't there on my main character. Now it seems as though also that if the mission isn't there for you, you can't use the recently discovered trick of just going to grab this bike from the location at which the mission, the highwayman mission ultimately leads you to at the end of, which is actually what you can do, you can just literally go to the place, enter a code and take the bike. So if you get here where I am on screen now and it allows you to enter the code you see on screen now, you should be able to just grab this bike and away you go. If it doesn't allow you to enter anything then I believe you have the same problem I did on my main character. Ok so next up we have the Brennan Apollo. So this bike will become available upon you reaching a street cred level of 30 and you have your presence known in Haywood. If that is the case a fixer will contact you after you knew this bike and where it can be found you'll see on the screen now via the map. Now this will require you to pay 94k edits for it so make sure you ain't sure on cash here people. Ok so next up we have the Brennan Apollo Nomad. So this one you are rewarded for completing one of the main story missions in life during wartime which is one of the later missions of the main story mission chain. So get through this story guys and you will receive this bike free of charge. And lastly guys we have the Yeba Kasunagi CT3X. So this bike is actually one of the first that becomes available to you as it only requires you to be a street cred level of 12 and have your presence known in Westbrook. If that's the case, come to the position you see on the map right here and get this bike. It will cost you 22k edits which is super cheap because in my opinion this is the best of the bunch. It's the most powerful at 183 brake horsepower. Although it's the heaviest too, but without doubt guys it's definitely the best to look at and it's the most unique without a shadow of a doubt. But yes guys these are all 6 motorbikes available for you to own within this game. Hopefully within future DLCs we get many many more. But on that note guys the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more cyberpunk on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss any of my videos and get them first turn on notifications by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next. One.